If you have not uh, got the memo yet, next episode is the one where I implement this. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the User of Bricks channel. Uh, today we will be uh, working on the next uh, tutorial of the M Creator 1.8.0 tutorial series. Today we will be working on fluids and armor. So let's start out with fluids. So you want to click fluid and name your fluid tutorial fluid. It can be pretty much anything as long as you <clears throat> haven't used uh, that name anywhere else in your mod elements. So when you hit OK, <clears throat> uh, it'll show you this page. This is, as with all elements, this is the first page you see is the texture uh, page. Uh, this is for when your uh, fluid is still or f versus flowing. I am just going to use my custom my custom uh, placeholder uh, texture. Uh, your texture should be different and will look a lot nicer than a logo. Yeah, that's a logo. Anyway, uh, when you hit next, uh, this page will bring you up to luminosity, how the light level, this can go up all the way to 100. I assume that's 100% but I may be slightly off with that. Below that is density. That's how easy it is to move through the liquid. And the higher you go, the harder it will be to move through the liquid. Uh, the lower you go, and if you say you put this into negative, uh, that will mean it will be easier to move through that uh, liquid than air so yeah there's lots of maneuverability through all of this uh, viscosity I am probably very much butchering that word but this is uh, how far your liquid will flow lava uh, has a much uh, a uh, higher uh, number, uh, so it will uh, flow more slowly. It only ha it only goes out four blocks and then it stops. Where water, it goes out. I forget the number, but ah, right, it's it flows out eight blocks. So the lower you put this number, the farther your fluid will flow. Below that is if you want to make your fluid a gas. This just means that it flows upwards instead of like normal liquids. Uh, normal liquids, if they flow down, uh, if it flows upwards, it would, when you place it, it just flows upwards into the sky. So yeah, uh, fluid type, uh, it, this is, you can choose water or lava. It, this depends whether if, if it hurts and burns uh, uh, animals or items, entities, mobs, whatever. It also determines the sound that your liquid will make. Uh, you can also choose uh, uh, if it, it can be collected with your with uh, a bucket. Uh, yeah, it. Yeah, you can turn that off or you can leave it on, whichever you uh, find best. Most people would want it to be left on. Uh, next is the procedure page, just like uh, the tool and tool page, or very similar to it. It's when it's added into the world, uh, when the neighbor block changes, uh, update tick, and when a uh, mob slash player collides with block. So, yeah. 
And that is, that's a liquid. That's all that a liquid is. And yeah, you can do a bunch of different things after this with uh, procedures and yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, now that we're done with the fluid, it's time to move on to the armor. Uh, first off, you will want to create an armor texture. Uh, for some reason, I did not cover this in the uh, textures episode, so I am covering it here. You can also import your armor texture if you created it somewhere else. Uh, but here is the M Creator uh, Armor Creator. Uh, and you can choose chainmail, leather, or standard. Standard is just your standard. You can just choose leather or, uh, or chainmail. Uh, yeah. And then you can choose its color. And yeah. Uh, in one cre M Creator 1.8.0, it is said that. The, you will be able to lock the saturation of your of your armor, so you'll have much more uh, versatility in the way you will be able to use all of that. Uh, so let's use this armor. Name it tutorial armor. Okay. Then you can exit. Then you'll want to go over here, click on armor, name your armor. Uh, this, what what I mean by name is this is what your it'll be in commands or stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, um, then you click OK, you choose. Uh, Helmet, body, legs, or boots, and you don't have to use the same ones that you made in the uh, armor texture editor. You can uh, have them be whatever texture you want. You can also enable or enable have it enabled or disabled on different uh, parts. So you, if you don't want the helmet in your in this armor set, just disable the ar the helmet. Uh, yeah, it's very, very nice that you can do that. Uh, there's also the different uh, tick events for all the armors. I believe this is 20 ticks a second. So, yeah. On the next page, it's simple as the last few uh, elements have been in this series. Uh, this is the name of your armor, uh, so th for me that would be Tutorial ar Armor. Uh, don't uh, add like hel helmets or uh, body or any of that. That will be added on its own. So yeah, you can all, then below that you choose its creative tab inventory or no inventory creative tab. Uh, you can also choose your uh, own personal uh, custom tabs. Uh, next is uh, what your uh, armor will look like when it is on you. So you open the uh, texture selector it'll bring up this this uh, spot we I'm gonna be using using that for the what I the one I created but you can also import your armor texture and when you do that you have to add the two layers so an armor texture is two images so keep that in mind when uh, doing using that uh, back to here, uh, how much damage that the armor absorbs. Uh, yeah, I believe that would be uh, divide that in half, and that is how many hearts that that can uh, guard off or fence off. 
uh, damage values. This uh, this means, uh, I believe, how much uh, armor this gives, as well as uh, the durability. So yeah, you can change these. The fir first one is for helmet. You can change it to pretty much whatever. Then comes the chest plate, the leggings, and then the boots. The enchantability, this is just like uh, a tool. Uh, the higher up you go, the better enchantments you, well, the more enchantments and the better they will be in the uh, enchantment table, or the possibility, I should say, of that. Uh, next is the toughness. This also changes the durability, but so as it says, uh, default is zero, zero. I believe that would be leather armor. And uh, diamond is two, but I believe you can go three. Yeah, you can go way above the diamond level. So, yeah, it's very nice. And that is, that's it. After that, you create your uh, recipes. That will be, I will be doing that in the next episode. Along with, uh, actually no, ranged item. That is, that's uh, large enough on its own. That will be the next, uh, next episode. The episode after that will be recipe and probably fuel. And if that is, doesn't take enough time, I will add in the creative tab as well. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Consider subscribing and clicking the bell to get notified of when the next video of this series comes out. And without ado, have a great rest of your day. This has been the User Bricks.